What's going on ladies and gentlemen? So today we are going to be polishing up a pair of our Thursday boot captains, the smooth leather. Uh, it is a brand, it is a style that we get asked about all of the time in our comment section. A lot of emails sent to us asking, hey, what color should I be using? What should I be doing to clean off my Thursdays? Well, today we are going to show you step by step what you need to be doing. And if you don't own Thursday boots, that's fine. This tutorial will apply to most smooth skinned uh, boots or shoes. So let's go. All right, so the first thing you guys want to do is just remove your laces. Um, if you're just going to do a random clean every now and then, it's not really necessary, but I don't think these boots have been cleaned in quite some time. And as you can see up here on the tongue, it's missing a lot of the color pigment, so we're going to put a lot of that back in there as well. So in order to do it, the laces have to come out. All right, so you can see all of the dirt and dust on here. This has got to go. So next thing you want to do is just make sure you have a good horsehair brush or some type of rag that you can wipe over and brush this off to get as much dirt off as you can. Okay guys, so one of the things that I want to mention is when you are dusting off your boots, you always want to make sure that you're also getting down in this welt line area. So the welt line is where you're going to see your stitches. And a lot of times you'll get dust and grime uh, that'll sit down in there and you want to make sure that comes off. So make sure you're rubbing your brush inside that as well. And they also have little welt brushes like this one here that are made for getting down in this area. And if you don't have one of these, you can also use a toothbrush. It does the same thing. All right, so as you can see, just brushing these boots off did a good job. It got off most of that surface dust, and that's what we were looking for. Now, if you wanted to follow this up with some saddle soap or some leather shampoo, you could do that, if you, and that would help to you know, get any excess dirt that may be sitting down in the pores of the leather. It helped get that out. But these are in pretty good shape, so what we're gonna do is just take a wet rag like this. We're gonna spray some water on it just to make it a little damp and we're just going to rub over the boot and again that's just going to pull off any remaining excess dirt or dust and again don't forget to wipe down inside of this wet line as well okay you want to make sure that you're getting the tongue that nice and white down. Make sure you're getting along these hill blocks as well because you can see that there's a lot of dirt on this hill block just from everyday wear and we want to make sure we get this off. Okay, so the boots are nice and wiped down. They are ready to be hydrated. If you are not hydrating your boots, make sure you're doing that. All leather needs to be hydrated on a regular basis so that it stays nice and supple and doesn't dry out. I'm going to use Saphir Renovateur in this case. It has a lot of oils in it, and the leathers that they use on this type of captain boot is sort of a little bit of an oily feel to it, and that way I just want to make sure that those are replenished. So let's get this added. Okay, in this case, I'm just going to use a rag to apply this cream, but you can also use a brush. You could also use your hand with a glove. Uh, there's a lot of different things you could use to apply the, uh, the cream and or the conditioner. And you just want to begin working this all into the leather. And a little bit goes a long way, guys, so you don't have to use a lot. If your boots are extremely dried out, you may find that the conditioner is quickly absorbed into the leather, and if you find that it needs to have more added, uh, you're fine to do that. Um, you know, conditioner is not going to hurt the, the boot or the leather, so feel free to add as much as needed to the leather. So this boot is just about done. I've added the conditioner all over it, but as you can see, there are still some scuffs up around this area of the toe, 
and the conditioner is not going to quite cover that up. If this is okay to you and you want to leave it like this and you kind of like the beat up look, you're good to go. Uh, from here, you can stop, wait, wipe over it, and you're good to go. But I want to make sure that these scuffs are kind of covered up and make this boot look a little more new. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video, please give us a big thumbs up. It tells YouTube that you're really enjoying our video and it helps our channel to grow. Also, click that subscribe button because not only are we doing Thursday boots today, but we have a lot of different brands that we're going to be bringing to you in the weeks and months to come. So you definitely want to make sure you subscribe to that channel and also hit that little notification bell so that you're notified every time a new video hits. So let's get back to it. Okay guys, so after I've added the conditioner, I've allowed it to penetrate the leather and sit for about five minutes. Now what I'm going to do is take my horsehair brush again and just buff over the, the boot. And like I mentioned before, if you kind of want to keep that beat up look, then you're good to go. Okay, so this color leather is a bit of a burgundy color to it. So what I'm gonna do is use the burgundy saphir cream. Um, again, guys, it doesn't have to be saphir. It can be any other brand out there. I just wanna make sure that you're using good products. And again, notice that I said cream and not wax. You don't wanna put a wax on this. You wanna make sure that you're using a shoe cream that has a bit of a color to it, and that's gonna put the pigment back into it. So again, I'm gonna take my rag. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, and I have to be careful, same thing, if you have a pair of these or if you have Wolverines or any other type of boot that has white stitches along there, you wanna make sure that you're being careful when you apply this cream because the color pigment will color those stitches. So we're just gonna be carefully put this on the toe. and just continue to rub that cream all into the boot and it's gonna put the color right back into that leather. Okay, so the cream is on here. I'm giving it a few minutes to dry. You wanna make sure that that cream really soaks into the boot or the leather and it has enough time to dry to a haze. Um, so while that's going on, I also, like I said, I wanna make sure these look brand new. So as you can see, the heel block here is really scuffed up and coloration is missing from that. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go with a brown shoe cream you can also use a uh, heel edge dressing um, if that's your thing. I just find that shoe creams do a really good job um, and I prefer them over a lot of edge dressings. So what we're gonna do, again, take your rag and just like you did with, with the boot, you're just going to work that into the heel block. And as you can see where that scuff was, it's now gone. So after you've given the cream enough time to dry, again, you're gonna take your shoe brush, buff these off until you bring out a nice shine. Okay, so these are just about done. I have buffed these off. Now the last thing that you'll wanna do, you can either keep your boots like this. Normally on a smooth leather boot or shoe, you would add wax as a protectant against you know water, dust, and whatnot. But for most of us wearing boots, we don't want a high glossy shine on those. The next layer of protection that I would add is just some waterproofing spray. So on this one, we're gonna use the Saphir and Volner spray. Again, it doesn't have to be this brand, just there's a lot of different waterproofers out there, but you wanna make sure that you're getting a good spray on these shoes because that will repel a lot of the water, uh, dust, 
whatnot from sticking onto your boots. Okay, adding the spray is relatively easy. You just wanna hold it about eight inches away and you're just gonna give a light mist all over the boot. You're gonna allow that to sit for about 10 to 20 minutes. That's all it takes, then you're good to go. Okay guys, so these Thursday boot captains are ready to go. I think they look a million times better. But before I show them to you, just as a reminder, if you're looking for any of the products that we used in today's tutorial, please check us out at potterandsons.com. I have the link down below. You can also find anything you may need for your shoe care needs, such as shoe trees, shoe creams, shoe brushes, whatever it may need, you can find it at potterandsons.com. And also, if you sign up for our newsletter, you will get 15% off of your first order. So please check us out. Okay guys, so as you can see, these boots in the beginning had been through a lot. Uh, they hadn't been cleaned in a while, they would got a lot of scrapes and scuffs, a lot of dirt and dust on them. And now we cleaned all of that off, we conditioned them really well, we used some shoe cream to bring the color back to it, and then we just sprayed them off with some waterproofing spray, and that's gonna help prevent you know, any rain from you know, soaking in the leather, any dust from being absorbed in the leather. Um, and they are ready to go. All right guys, so that just about does it. Again, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you stopping by and until next time, have a great day.